And here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. And welcome back to the season's predictions here for ESL1 Battle for 4 Global Finals for Winter 2015. Might be our final season, who knows. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, I'm Elis the Medic, usually casting ESL1, you know, normal ESL stuff for Battle for 4. Huge passion. Obviously, the hashtag passions runs through the veins. That's for sure, but, you know, one thing that has been running a bit too fast through my veins is not just passion, but just a lot of excitement for these matches because, if you don't know, a few weeks ago, put out a video, had the predictions for the groups, pretty much all good, had two failures at the end of it, if you will. Uh, was it two? No, it was only one, yeah only one so all is good uh, one out of eight is great paid mate and I'm gonna talk a bit about the next global finals actually gonna be happening in December 12th and 13th uh, in Cologne Germany obviously if you're there be sure to pop by and say hello uh, gonna get to see everybody there all the players the usual casters you used with don't know yet but I might be seeing you there expect a video if anything is ready to go or the announcement is meant to be live if that's going to be the case. So crossing fingers, hopefully we'll be able to give a fantastic show there. But on to the nitty gritty. Here are the predictions. And before that, let's talk. Let's start talking really, 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 really quickly about the matches. The playoffs for Americas were fantastic. The matches were beautiful. Intense versus limited edition. Easy game there for Intense. And Intense actually had beaten every single other team with no problem. Elevate versus Pain. Pain taken down Elevate uh, in a 3 Again, these matches were all best of five, but the Zinger was Intense versus Pain. If you don't know who Intense are, Intense are pretty much the old Dexterity lineup with Julio and 9 xt and you know, Wag and all these guys. And with Pain Gaming, there's all the Uran 5v5, especially with Zigera. Um, the problem with Pain is that even if they had won and qualified through, one of their players was underage, and you can't you can play online if you're under 18, but if you want to go to LAM in Cologne under German law, you can only be 16 plus or 18 plus. Excuse me. That's why players like Noah and Hunter previously were not able to play, even enter Q from Penta. So a bit of a shame not seeing their talent on. Well, now we see Hunter finally, and we saw him at Gamescom, but. Uh, it was a bit of a shame having to wait so much until the talent really was shown, if you will. But, Intense versus Pain, if you have not watched this game, I implore you to go down to the stream right below this video on ESL underscore BF4 and rewatch the VOT. Because, oh my god, I envied Brett because he was seeing these live a minute and a half before us. Because, oh my god, these matches were beautiful. Intense vs. Pain was a back and forth series that nobody expected because everybody expected this to be an intense walk, just complete walkover, just like I did in the predictions video. But Pain put up such a fantastic fight, it was beautiful. If only you could have the, both, both of these teams at the finals, but unfortunately, I do think it's a bit too late. And even if we had done this months ago, there's a lot of things to reconsider. It's not really up to my, myself or the public. It's a bit of a shame because this best of five series went to third fi final map map number five on locker they went to third overtime and one second before them overtime ended the second third the second half of the third overtime intense planted the bomb one second you can rewatch watch video oh my god intense won it was intense yes it was fantastic so intense congrats they're gonna be moving on to the global finals of course all these teams get pretty nice sum of dough of cash uh for getting this far pain it really does pain me that they're not able to go to cologne i mean these four teams are fantastic and definitely the top two there's there's no way that intense versus pain is going to be topped or i i really thought after seeing it it's not going to get topped anytime soon at least in the group stages we'll have to see and hopefully at the global finals we'll see something that might be able to top this fantastic matchup but there are a few things to note intense made quite a few mistakes that we'll come back uh come back on in uh, a uh, 
a series soon, or maybe in the Cassidy SL1, uh, that were fairly obvious to see and spot during the matchup. But that is our first one, and now, oh, that's the other thing. Okay, here we go. Apparently having multiple tabs open really does uh, mess up OBS, but here we go. Uh, brackets for the Oceania, they're finally updated. Woohoo, woohoo. Finally, they're updated for once. It's been two years. But Sif, Sif Gaming, the old Team Exile 5, well, the Team Exile 5 that should have been playing before, has moved on. Rip Joker, or as the Aussies like to say, Rip Jaika. Of course, uh, Joker was a player before, a big community member. Unfortunately, he passed away, so, or she passed away. Well, the person passed away, and everybody was quite sad, and this was the... Uh, genesis of the team and at the end of it sif was able to win no problem 3-0 in the best of five of the final and i don't really think there would be any team that would be able to beat them anyways event horizon was the only team that was even close to them but sif really just swung it home and were able to take the victory and 3-0 is pretty good but it's it's oceania again now it might call me crazy but I'm gonna say that this is the time, the only time that actually Oceania has a clear shot at actually making it out of the groups or at least winning one match. Because Sif have the perfect lineup to do so. Uh, they have Krypton, they have uh, the old Exile 5 players, I do believe they have Shady as well. I mean, this is the time to do it, boys. People might call me crazy, but I know Sif and I know what they practiced before just by seeing their gameplay. It was really obvious even during the go for right before it landed Gamescom. They're going to be a contender to really watch out for. Uh, mark my words. But here we go. Now up to the EU. This is where it really matters. Uh, again, Penta EGC, easy peasy. They move on, no problem. Exactly how I predicted it. Uh, EGC just not able to move through Penta again EGC are pretty much a mix at this point so we'll have to see how they fare at land I don't really think they're going to be able to make it out of the groups but we'll talk about that in just a second Infamous versus Leisure or yeah Infamous versus Leisure was pretty much a victory from Infamous Leisure had a few sparks of moment you know had a few moments where I might have seen a comeback but it just did not work Atlas, unfortunately, my only pick that didn't function. They had last minute changes. Actually, the day that I uploaded the video, there were change, major changes in the roster. And then some of the players that played for Atlas, especially Frozen, who's a very good player, was moved over to MNG. So Mangoose, Atlax, which, what? Like, you're a few days away from the qualifier, but I guess so. And Infamous Leisure do make it out. So Leisure, Johannes, I'm going to say this here. I owe you a beer, so... Hopefully, I'll get to go and get your own beer. But Group C is done. It is. I, I'm not lying. You know, why you always... Uh, yes. But, unfortunately, it was not updated as Pio and everybody are not here. I think Pio... Uh, he's, he needs a break, to be honest. Pio's always here. So, more than happy to, you know, have him uh, scooch along and have some fun for a day, if you will. But Epsilon B Genius... Uh, pretty just big destruction from Epsilon as B Genius was uh, were eliminated first from the event that was the third matchup yesterday on um, uh, Wednesday or on Tuesday, excuse me. And Revo and Epsilon made it out of the group easy, pretty much no problem. Mangus had a bit of a comeback on Locker, almost, almost, but it just didn't work. Revo were all over the place, and Epsi Revo move out so. Predictions really really good all over the board is pretty good except for leisure. I say it's a welcome victory. It's a pretty good rate For you no know, pretty good success rate. I will see who makes Their own success at land. So for the next couple of minutes. I'm going to talk about this obviously Penta EGC Made it out of group A infamous leisure out of group B Epsilon Revo out of their own group intense made it out of out of the Americas and Sif, it's not safe, I know, cryptic, and Sif made it out of Oceania. Teams in my mind that can really, really do it. Okay, so the thing that matters is moving out of groups. That's that's where you say, okay, we're good. You can make it here, yes, you're extremely good, but making it into the, into the semis, that's where it shines. And in my mind, 
Penta, Intense. Uh, I really, really do think that Epsilon have a big chance of just demolishing any EU team. Uh, I think Penta is going to be the only team that's going to give them any troubles. Maybe EGC in certain situations because they are still really good. But other than that, no EU team can really stand or no team can stand against them except for Intense. I'm, I'm predicting, I'm going to say it, Epsilon versus Intense in the final. It's going to be a fantastic game and Intense wins. Really close, but Intense is going to win unless Jika pulls out a double ace again and then we'll see. I mean, Mayak today pulled off a 17th or 3 on Shanghai, so yeah, I really have to fear these players. They're always calm and collected, and that's the same for Penta, actually, especially on the bomb retakes, and something we've seen multiple times. So, Intense, Penta, and Epsilon making it to the semifinals. Pretty darn easy there. In my mind, uh, I do suppose that Epsilon and Intense, their top seed in the regions, are going to be on, the, um, on opposite groups, so they can make it on opposite sides of the bracket in semifinals, so we might see them in the final. As far as I know, I don't know how the bracket functions because that's always left to the last second, but regarding first seed, it should be like this, so we should see them on either sides of the semifinals, so it should be pretty good if we can see an Epsi Intense final. Penta, they're good, they should be able to make it out of groups, unless Leisure really stand out. Now, teams that stand out in my mind when it comes to making it out of the group or three top infamous leisure and sith they're gonna fight it out infamous obviously have the advantage given that they're the team of the most experience uh leisure or the younger team not so much experience on land but they're very calm and recollected and i really do think that with johannes as their team captain they should have an easier time but Leisure are a bit on and off when they're playing in very important games. Especially when they played versus Infamous. And you can see it in their gameplay, which shouldn't be the case. But hopefully at land we'll see a better performance from them. But again, like they're a fantastic team. They're extremely, extremely strong. So I'm going to eat my words after it again. I <laughs> said Atlas, but Atlas got completely shrecked. But here we go. Infamous, Leisure, and Sith. Uh, infamous in my mind should make it to the uh, to the semis unless leisure and sif go ham and one of them pulls out infamous in my mind is the team that should make it just in general calculations that's how it should be upsets i love upsets if i can see sif in the semis with along with penta epsilon and uh, intense oh my god that would be fantastic finally we're seeing representation from everywhere in the world well everywhere that's allowed uh, in the semis that would be fantastic and we we'll prove that oceania is pretty good yes we don't have fanatic which is a shame i always say it fanatic were a fantastic team i wish we had them but good luck to them in overwatch maybe we'll see them on there one day but uh, for now there is an open spot, and Infamous, Leisure, and Sif are going to find Now we might be saying, well, Milos, my friend, why not Revo? Well, or why not EGZ? Well, EGZ are a mix. They are. There's no way around it. They, they are so unpredictable that saying that they would make it to, to the semis is just being a bit crazy if you ask me because even last time with the lineup that again the lineups have completely changed and now they have extremely strong players they have safe as well i mean safe is one of the players that doesn't get too many kills but the kills that he gets are so important to the match it really always ends up in a bomb plan always ends up in a very important transition phase you have to very much keep in your mind players like that at all times when we're playing against them but i don't think egz would make it out of groups uh, if they do then it's gonna be on the back of uh, infamous and infamous egz and this is gonna be a crazy game if it actually happens but i still think infamous should edge out my major problem is fred fred and uh, please nobody take this personally if possible but infamous are strong 
They have all the players that they require to get to the semis. Problem is, Fred is a, pretty much a wild card and sometimes can just throw tantrums and not focus on the game like all of his other teammates are. He might be their Achilles, Achilles heel and they, he almost was in their fight against Leisure and I was holding my breath because it was a bit, it was really a bit crazy especially when they play against Nafu, uh, not this fungus on Shanghai, oh, oh my god, man. Like, some of the things that have happened, especially with Threat Around, should not have happened. Yes, he's had his moments, but a lot of times in the downfall of the situation, it's it's going to be a bit tricky. So in my mind, Infamous Leisure Sif have a pretty good chance to making it to the semis. EGG, they have to play to their best. They're a very, very good team, but they need to transcend the, the mode of... Yes, we're we're more than just a mix. We need to do more, and I would love to see a switch up in in their play and just know uh, knowing a bit more when to be more aggressive and more uh, more passive. And I really do wish that we could remove as much of the passive style as possible. Revo, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything in this uh, tournament in the finals. Uh, to be honest, they're a team that performs very well online. But on LAN, they're not really tested. Yes, they played a gamer's assembly and they wound up fourth, I think. So, yes, they're good, but that's fourth on the French side. Yes, there was Fnatic number one. There was Tuscan Raiders with Benny and Fred and everybody. I think Brad playing with them. They wound up second or third. I think it's third. So, yes, I mean, yeah, they're good, but here we're talking about much more than just we have to be good we have to be performing on our top level so we'll have to see how that pans out but again in my mind here's what it's going to be penta epsilon intense and infamous in the semis and then final with intense epsi fantastic final intense wins it first time no fanatic nothing to stand in their way except for epsilon and epsilon's best lineup yet Yes, you lose out on having safe as a person that coordinates the plays. Uh, you don't have Duke that was in a couple of seasons ago where he was a player that is extremely ex aggressive. But you went out by having uh, just having Hunter, having Hexus. Hexus is a fantastic player. He's my Belgian compatriot anyways. But he's very, very good. Decision making is extremely good. And Hunter is just an amazing fragger that's what you need you need that mix and they have the mix of each one of the players that is required to do the best or does the best in their situation and Mayak is the one that lands these frags across the map and you don't even know what hit you penta good thing they have smash you now i think that even though nold was really good smash you allows them to be a bit more aggressive but we'll have to see how that melds with the team online again smash has a lot of experience playing uh, in land tournaments so he should be very calm under fire. So, I guess uh, that's pretty much it. You know, hey, if you haven't liked the ESL Battlefield, ESL Battlefield Facebook, then be sure to like it. I already do, and 30 of my friends as well. As well. Thank God you can't see their their names completely. Yes, I know you. No, can you check it from below? No, you can't. Good. So you can't see the name of these people because, good. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope we're going to see Penta v Epsilon in the final. That's going to be fantastic. It's going to be awesome. And for that, that's going to happen December 12th and 13th over in Cologne, Germany. If you don't know where uh, the studios are, then be sure to Google uh, ESL Studios. I'll have everything there we go about along. But you can check stuff down in the description. You can have directions to go there. If you're in Germany, if you're anywhere near, entrance is completely free. You might be getting even a mouse pad, a cue pad there, a battle for mouse pad, some stuff to eat as well at the studio. It's going to be awesome if you go. And you can meet everybody, say hello, meet your favorites, maybe even meet 9XT. I mean, 9XT is a boss. It's awesome. I mean, you can meet Payo, the most the most loved person in the entirety of the battlefield scene i mean god man that's amazing he might even take your beer away from you <laughs> but anyways um i hope these predictions come true so far i've only had one thing that was wrong and i guess that's it it was a bit of a blunder because atlas 
change their lineup completely over a couple of days after this vi the first video was made. So I would have gone for leisure anyways. But yeah, I mean, it's all good. We'll see what goes on. I hope you bet your duckweed AEKs on the matchup over at BF4 Lounge. <laughs> no, that doesn't exist. This is not CS. I don't, I don't even bet anyways. But I hope to see you on the stream on uh, December 12th and 13th. It's going to be in the morning. We don't have the schedule yet. That's going to be happening in three weeks. So there's still a lot of time to prepare these. Obviously, ESL is hard at work. Prepping everything for everybody there. The players are all set to go. And they're all getting ready for the global finals for one more shot. Maybe more. Maybe more. We still don't know. We still, to be honest, I don't know. There might be people that actually ha can confirm or deny, but I can't. That's for sure. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll see. Well, uh, we're going to see a, a non-fanatic champion for once after MYM won it first season of the EMS1. But... Hopefully we see Brazil at the end of it. Maybe, maybe Epsilon can squeeze out a victory their first time. It would be fantastic. A final intense Epsilon would definitely be awesome. And pretty much even Penta in the final, which I don't really see, but even them in the final would be awesome. And they're all pretty fantastic team. So I'll see you then. Hopefully I'll see you in Twitch chat. Hopefully. I'll be able to go to Cologne and I'll see you there if you're going. Remember, entrance is free. You can be there and you can say hello to everybody and have some grub for those two days and have some fun. Maybe catch a, a drink after the matches uh, every night. But see you later. Be sure to follow ESL Battlefield and at ESL Battlefield, the Twitch channel on ESL underscore BF4. Check those out. Keep in check. For the latest information on Battlefield and the tournaments with ESL. And if you want to hit me up on Twitter at MailerStemetic or uh, on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash ESL underscore MailerStemetic for the casting channel and at and twitch.tv forward slash MailerStemetic for my usual pubby channel, if you will. Play a lot of BF4. Uh, now with StarCraft 2 Legacy Void, I'm thinking about starting to playing a bit of ladder, even though I suck at the game. So we'll just have to see. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see if these predictions come true, won't we? And, uh, well, for now, I guess I'll see you on the virtual battlefield. Goodbye. This is your world. You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. Because you can do it. Because you can do it. I believe. I believe